With a pile of freshly cut rafters sitting on your sawhorses, it's time to get down to the rough framing. Step one is setting the ridge. But how do you know where, exactly, to set the ridge? Math. Because we know the run of the rafter and the pitch of the roof, we can use a calculator to figure out the height of the ridge. Punch in 14 feet 11 inches 1 quarter run and punch 6 inch pitch and then punch rise. That's the height of our roof, 7 foot 5, 5 eighths inches. More accurately, that's the height of the Pythagorean triangle that's made of skinny lines, not thick lumber. There are a few adjustments that you need to consider. Unless you beveled both sides of your ridge, the ridge is flat. So the top of the ridge will actually land somewhere below that Pythagorean height. It's only about 3 eighths of an inch in this example, and don't worry about it right now. Another thing to account for when cutting the ridge pole to hold up the ridge is the height of the ridge. We'll need to subtract 11 and a quarter inches from the 7 foot 5 and 5 eighths. The third item to account for is another discrepancy between skinny lines and thick lumber. Skinny lines don't have to support a load, so they can stay skinny. Roofs have to support a load, so they have to get thicker. That's why the top of the rafter doesn't sit on the top plate like a hypotenuse does in a math book. Because we need to add insulation, and because the roof has to support weight, and because we want to add overhangs to this roof system, the top edge of the rafter is elevated above the plate, 7 and 3 8 inches in this case. That's called the heel height of the rafter, and it needs to be accounted for when cutting a pole to stick under that ridge. So, we subtract the ridge depth from the rise, and then we add the heel height back to the resultant number, and that's the height of the ridge pole, 7 foot 1 and 3 quarter inches. But, don't cut it that long. Cut it short, and then shim the ridge up into the perfect position using the first two rafters to place it. This will help account for that flat topped ridge, and any potential humpiness or swelling in the framing lumber. Of course, in real life, there's no sky hook, so you'll need to use multiple ridge poles and brace them appropriately. But before you set the ridge, you'll want to lay it out to match the walls. It's easier to lay the ridge out while it's on sawhorses than when it's 15 feet in the air. But lay out the walls first. When laying out the walls, don't just hook the outside sheathing and lay out every 16 inches like you do for wall framing or floor framing. Walls and floors don't have overhangs, roofs do. Burn eight inches on your tape at the edge of the sheathing to account for the overhang, and then mark 15 and a quarter to put the center of that first rafter 16 inches from the edge of the roof. Now, mark every 16 inches, again, three quarters of an inch shy of the red marks on your tape. Now every rafter will be 16 inches apart, and the eight foot sheets of plywood will break down the centers of the rafters. Now is a good time to lay out the ridge and slap that in place. When you lay it out, don't forget to account for the wall sheathing. Burn eight and a half inches from the edge of the ridge or tack a scrap of plywood to the end and burn eight inches. Begin with four end rafters. Temporarily set them in place, perhaps with screws that are easy to remove or with sinkers that are not sunk. Again, adjust the ridge up or down until it fits the rafters perfectly and then nail those rafters off. Face nailed through the ridge and toe nailed into the top plates. It's a good idea to frame both sides of the roof just to keep the math honest because sometimes slight errors have a way of compounding. After setting a rafter, place a 14 and a half inch block against it sitting right down tight on the layout line. Set the next rafter, face nailing into the block and toe nailing into the plate. Keep doing that until all of the rafters stacked on your horses are nailed in place. Now you can take a walk around and admire your work and make sure it looks good from the neighbor's house. <music>